What's going on? Thought I'd jump on here and share my skincare routine with you. So Young Living came out last month at convention, um, July of 2020, if you're not watching this in August, um, with the Bloom Brightening Skincare System. I have in the past been using the Sheer LeMay Brightening Cream. Um, I think they're having a hard time with sourcing, keeping this stuff in stock and everybody wants an even skin tone um, and just, you know, just nice looking skin, bright skin, right? Glowing, radiant, right? And so the Bloom Skin Care System is intended to do that. So it's something you wanna do morning and night. Of course, the entire line has essential oils in it. There are a ton of oils in there um, that are so good for your skin. Um, of course, and everything is very ethically sourced. So I just want to go over the routine. It's pretty simple. It's a three-part system. So you start, obviously, with the brightening cleanser. Um, now, this is the power behind this is from Plumeria Flower Extract. Um, the sodium hyaluronate is another ingredient in there and Prosaxi seed oil. I think I said that right. Um, so that's going to help improve your skin texture. It helps hydrate your skin, which is huge, <laughs> um, and just give you just a really radiant complexion. So of course, basic you know, washing. Now this cleanser I found is really thick and I prefer a foaming wash is what I used to use. I used to use our art um, gentle cleanser. Um, so I took a one ounce foaming pump bottle, filled it up just a little bit because this a little goes a long way with the cleanser here, um, and topped it off with water. So now I have a foaming pump and I keep this in the shower for the morning washes and then, um, you know, I'll use it at night if I'm not, if I'm not showering at night or whatever. So we're going to wash our face. Ready? So lukewarm water. <laughs> Is going to show you this you know it comes out foaming um and it's still pretty thick so and you want to cover everything guys don't forget about your neck right i mean we know this i am no face washing or skincare expert by the way i am just showing you my routine so i usually put it on in little circles i did find that this um something and it does kind of burn my eyes a little bit uh whereas the other stuff i was using didn't um, so just, you know, be mindful of that. It's just, I think it's just the soap part of it or something. It may be the, um, one of those other ingredients that just aren't very friendly in your eyeballs kind of thing. So, um, then you're going to rinse that off, of course. I never used to read directions and stuff, but there's so many little tips that apparently are really important, like just patting dry using your middle finger when you're putting on eye creams and that kind of thing because um, your middle finger is actually your weakest finger. So that's the best for patting all this kind of skin area here. All right, so we just pat dry. And then step two, guys, this really doesn't take that long. It's going to take longer because I'm talking, is this brightening essence. Look at Look at that, how the, all those little sparkles in there. All those little sparkles are ethically sourced mica, which is what gives um, gives your skin that radiant glow. So you're getting it naturally, right? Um, so it's not stripping, but it does restore the pH. And so to apply this, um, oh, it also helps maintain a healthy skin biome. That's important, right, for later. So you're going to put some of this just in the palm of your hand. Uh, you just kind of flip it up, upside down and back up or whatever. And then you start from the inside and work out. Start from the center of your face and work out and just get that all over. And again, don't forget your neck, right? And it's just a gel. It literally, it's really, um, it's not a toner. Um, and you just, I mean, like I said, just use your hands to put it right on it from the inside out okay um center the face outward and including the neck all right and then of course at this point is where i would normally apply anything else i'm using so other things that i use that aren't part of the bloom line just so you know i have a little two milliliter um, roller ball that i keep a drop of rose in with some jojoba oil and that i just put around my eyes and uh, my little rosy cheek things that i'm still trying to work on so i do some extra things besides just the bloom skincare line um, and i just leave it in let it just soak in um, also 
I don't need a whole lot of moisturizer. I have dry patch areas. And so for that, um, I use our dry skin serum. Now I got this and it's just a blend of oils that's really good for moisturizing, right? Um, it doesn't make me break out or anything like that, but I get like dry patches here. Um, some people get on their forehead, some people on their, you know, cheeks or chin or, or just whatever. And so it's just really a, a problem area um, serum that I use. So I just popped a roller top on there and I just go zigzag across my forehead on these little spots here, my cheeks sometimes and down the nose and there for the center because I'm gonna be putting other stuff on so I just, Go ahead and get this on there, right? Um, you can put that wherever you need it. Um, and then I have um, an eye cream that I use. I use our Wolfberry eye cream. Uh, and again, with that, you're gonna do, you know, put a, just a tiny, tiny bit. Guys, it's a little tiny jar, but just a tiny bit on your middle finger um, and just dot all around my eyes. I am in my 40s and it was starting to look like I was in my 40s before I was in my 40s and said, nope, we got to do something. I'd never really had a good skincare routine. Um, and if you guys have any advice <laughs> um, on skincare stuff uh, or ways to apply or extra, you know, nice things to do, I um, have not attempted it yet. Also go around here. Uh, I smoked for 20 years and so the lines and I smile all the time. <laughs> Same, you know, all those muscles there just definitely get worked. So um, I do a little bit of that too. Uh, I think collagen is a great mix to your um, regimen, whether that's uh, internally, you know, or in your products. Um, uh, I just got one of these. I haven't tried it yet. I'd love some advice on these, the little jade rollers or the rose quartz rollers. I've heard really good things about those. As you can see, my under the eye thing, under my eyes are kind of puffy. And even my eyelids, I've noticed, are a little heavier um, on the rare occasions that I do actually put some makeup on. Okay, so back to the Bloom Skincare line. <laughs> All that stuff that you do in between, if there's any essential oils that you want to add to your face or any, you know, like I said, eye creams, um, any of that kind of stuff, that's when you go ahead and do that. Um, so then the lotion, this is a, the brightening lotion. It's a really, really lightweight moisturizer. Um, so I, I like that. Um, it also has antioxidants in there. So that's going to help minimize the appearance of future damage because we're not getting younger, we're getting older, right? There's oxidation. That's aging, guys. It's, it's coming. It's happening. And so this, I usually just take one pump, put it in the palm of my hand. I usually start at my neck actually um, with this because I don't need as much on my face, especially since I've already used the dry skin roller. And this again, you just cover your face, you know, where it's needed. Um, but my skin is so soft, it feels really nice. And I have been using the Bloom Skin Care line not even 30 days yet, and I'm already noticing um, a big difference with my even evenness of my skin tone. I have been working on these, they're like busted blood vessels. It used to be just a big, huge red area, period. A lot of the redness in my skin is starting to clear, but it's just... Um, it's like busted blood vessels, but it's starting, it's really getting better and better every day, I've noticed already. Um, about 81% of people have said that they noticed a difference from the Bloom skincare line in the evenness of their complexion after 60 days. So I'm pushing for the 60 days. Like I said, I haven't even quite hit 30 yet, and I'm already noticing a difference, so I'm really excited to see the results. So, all right, guys, let's just quick recap. Step one, brightening cleanser. Step two, brightening essence. And step three, after you do all your other whatever, if you do, um, the brightening lotion. Okay? Enjoy!